Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. I am the Nurse Slipper. I am recording this for you on a Monday. I am going to show you everything we sold over the weekend, and we are back up. We are up to almost $1,200 on eBay. We also have $100 going out on Posh, over $100 on Etsy, and $50 on Mercari. So all platforms did pretty decent this weekend. I am going to show you everything right now. All right, so up first is actually something my husband got in a box. So I used to get him a fishing subscription, just like I get my boxy charm for makeup. But this was a fishing like allures box that he got every month. And a lot of them he didn't use. So we finally got around Lynn listed them. This one actually sold in only a couple of days. So if you see these at yard sales and it's possible because if people get these, it's a saltwater proven here is the brand it is i'm a little stick that's the name of this this is a sardine this one's all for 12.99 so i don't really have much cost in because my husband used the other items in the box so this one's going to be about a 10 dollar profit up next is a really really cool goblet this has got drip glaze it does have a outer crack but the crack does not go through to the inside. So this should still hold water. Really cool. This one is signed. This one, I only paid a couple dollars. It sold for $11.36. So it's about an $8 profit. But this one took over a year to sell. Up next, this thing scares me. And I actually bought it in an online auction. It broke on the way to me. Check out this super cool Kachina picture. Now... I had to glue it back together like a puzzle. It was in pieces when it came to me. And it's kind of cool. It has the original note. Really, really neat. It is artist sign. So this one I only paid about $10 for. I did not want to throw it away when it broke in shipping. So I pieced it back together. I did notate that. This one still sold for $97.49. 97 bucks for broke and put back together so if it's a really cool piece this is on a piece of slate if you see really really neat kachina painting 97 dollars and about a 75 dollar profit took about four to five months to sell this one did not take very long okay there's small stuff and then there's really small stuff like this this is my friend charlene's it's just a Tony Stewart hair scrunchie. So Charlene had it. She listed it. This one sold for $2.75. They sent me a dollar offer. I countered them at three. It was listed at like $3.24. They countered at $1.50. Countered at $2.75. And they took it $2.75. Split profit with Charlene. Less than a dollar. Less than a dollar split on that. But pretty easy to list and ship. And now it's gone. Up next is a scarf. This one has got sequins, if you see there. Fancy little sequins. This one is a Jones New York. So this one I paid a dollar. This one sold for $11. It does have a fringe in. Sold for 11 so it's going to be about an $8 profit. This one took about a year to sell. Up next is a vintage new orleans pen so this new orleans lion club pen i paid less than a dollar it was in a big jewelry lot it sold for five plus the buyer paid shipping so it's going to be about a three dollar and fifty cent profit this one took about eight months to sell next is a license plate this is a new york license plate with the statue of liberty i did use that as a keyword i try to describe stuff on the tags this one sold for 974 i paid a dollar took about eight to nine months to sell and this one's going to be about a seven dollar profit long a burger liner this is a yellow rose trellis this one was just listed last week sold for 877 i paid a dollar this one's going to be about a six dollar profit sold really fast so with the liners I typically only like to get them if they tell me what it's for. So this one was for the parsley basket. It also tells me the pattern, which is rose trellis. Without that, a lot of times these are very, very hard to determine what basket they go with. 
from my friend Dale over at Flippin' Fiasco a long time ago. These were in my death pile. This is a New Zealand map. Lynn just listed this last week. I paid Dale less than a dollar for it. It sold for $9.07. So it's actually going to be about a $6 profit. Sold in only a week after being listed. And it was sitting here for a long, long time. So glad it's now listed and sold really fast. Up next is a scarf. This one is Attractions of Arizona. So there is where you see the Arizona. It has all of the different attractions. This one I paid a dollar. It sold for $14.62, making it about an $11 profit. And this one sold pretty fast as well. It sold in less than six months. This one does have a tag here that says it is 100% nylon. So this is not a silk one and it was made in Japan, which stuff made in Japan, I typically do put it in the title because that will help it sell. Up next is a purse I picked up at the thrift store for only a few dollars. This is a gorgeous ostrich London fog in amazing condition. This is a very clean, very, very nice purse. Look at the interior there. It has the little padlock as well as the key. This one I paid three, it sold for 35. So this one's gonna be about a $27 profit and it sold in under two weeks, sold pretty fast. That came from the thrift store over on my Catch Treasure Hunting channel. So if you're not following that channel, go check it out. You can see me find a lot of these items that are selling. And I just hit 7,000 subscribers over there. So if you are over there already, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. If you're not, go check it out because I have fun thrifting and finding some good stuff to resell. Up next is an apron. If you missed it, we did a vintage apron show over on Whatnot last week. This one is super cute. And I learned on the show, this is organza, I believe. These are really cool, like sunflowers. They could be poinsettias. Really, really nice apron with the ruffle border. This one I paid a dollar for. This one sold for $16.57 and about five to six months. So it did take a little longer to sell, but it's gonna be about $11 profit. All right, I have to cover the next item because it has some bad language, bad pictures. I'm just gonna show you, it says time to, I can't really show you anything. Um, this is a watch. If you want to, if you want to see it, go look on my eBay store and my sold. I did put adult humor. I did put funny. I think I put gag gift as well. I got this in an estate buyout. It, it was in an old man's fishing, fishing box, um, is where it was. This is basically a Playboy watch. So that there is a naked lady and it says time to, and I'll, I'll let you figure out the rest. Um, Sold in under a week for $55. I'm less than a dollar in. It is about a $45 profit. And it's really funny because a guy actually messaged me. He asked me if I'd take 50. I told him I would take 55. He said, change it, I'll buy it. I did, he bought it. And he says, fiance is gonna be so mad at him. So I'm causing premarital chaos by off offering this watch on eBay. Up next is going out to a viewer. Well, kind of. Miss Nadia bought this, but she's having us ship it to her dad here in Florida. This is a really nice Tampa Bay Bucks cup. So it's got the waffle to hold it. I don't think it's been used. Those stickers are still there. Really, really nice Bucks cup. I paid, I believe, $2.99 for this at thrift store, $3. It sold to Miss Nadia for $17.54. So about a $10 profit, and it sold in two months. So, Miss Nadia, thank you so much. I hope your dad really enjoys it. I like the Tampa Bay Bucks as well. I actually thrifted some Tampa Bay Bucks Crocs not long ago, and I decided to keep them. All right, if you are not aware, I don't sell a lot of baby and kids clothes. However, if they are vintage or antique, that is a different story. I will sell them. I bought a vintage blanket that is listed close to $100, and it had this layette with it. So it had these cute little baby booties, a vintage baby bonnet, and this cute little vintage baby sweater. So these were listed less than three days, and this set sold for $35. I am only about $3 in, so they're gonna be about a $28 profit, and they sold in days. Up next is a watch that has been a pain in my butt. 
this thing. I've had so many offers and so many questions. And I finally accepted a best offer of $350. I had it listed at over $500. I'm over this watch. Too many questions. It was a pain in the butt. So this is a vintage wall thumb. If you see there, that is a Harley Davidson mark. So there's only been one or two others that have sold I found on Worth Point. They did sell around the $500 mark. I have had this for about a year. I got it with the Harley pens. I did pay $150 for this. So this one's going to be close to $125 profit, but I'm glad it's gone. Again, they kept wanting us to open it and it was just too difficult for us. It is not working. And I did put that. I put it is not working. So whoever gets this needs to do some work. And I took $150 off the price just to be done with it and also to get my money back because I did have $150 investment sitting in it. And sometimes with stuff like this, you just have to let it go. Up next are some Nike pants. I tell you guys all the time, I pick up almost anything Nike. So if it's cheap, so this is Nike Dry Fit. These are size XL. They do have the little like phone pocket for when you're running or working out or doing whatever you're doing. So these pants I picked up for $2 at the Salvation Army down in the Florida Keys. They sold for $17.54 in under a month and they're going to be about an $11 profit. I'm not, this is a Harley pin. They are still selling. Somebody commented on my last video and told me theirs are selling as well. So the Harley, the Harley buyers are out there right now. So this is a little skull and dagger. This one sold for 15 plus the buyer paid shipping. I've had these bad boys just over a year now. So this one's going to be about an $11 profit. It took a year to sell. All right, more Longa Burger. I have made so much money off Longa Burger that it, it is... I like it. I like it. Buy it in bulk. Paid a dollar for this basket uh, garter. Basket garter. It does have a bow. Again, this one with the garters, I don't really care because they're just small, medium, or large. So this one, the pattern was Dusty Rose Spirit. Typically, you can find if you put the color, the name of the pattern. This one sold for $8.77. It's going to be about a $6 profit, and it sold in under a month. All right. Up next. If, if you're a reseller and you buy stuff for yourself, I had not used these. So I actually bought these to go to FlipCon up in Charlotte last year in the summer. Dalton got COVID and I was not able to go. And I was like, am I really going to wear these things? And then I looked them up on eBay. Well, I paid 55. They sell four more. So I decided I did not need these that bad. I do have four other pairs of Hey Dudes. If you do not know, Hey Dude is a brand that that holds its value. So these Hey Dudes, I paid $55 for myself. They sold for $85 plus the buyer paid shipping. So they're about a $20, $25 profit. I never wore them. I probably would not have so I went ahead and listed them. Dalton has a lot of pairs of Hey Dudes as well. I actually just had to order him bigger sizes and the used ones hold pretty good value. They typically will sell still in adults for 40 to $50. They're only 55 new. Kids will go for about 25 to 35 and they're only 45 new. So I like Hey Dudes, especially with Dalton growing, because I know I'll be able to recoup most of that money and put it towards his, his bigger size shoes. His feet, his feet are growing. Up next is a little pen. This is a Virginia Polytech Institute. This one hasn't been listed very long either. I am pennies into this one. This one sold for $8.50, so it's going to be about a $6 profit, and it sold in under a month. Up next is a teapot that has been sitting in my death pile for well over a year. Lynn just listed this. This one does have the bamboo handle. It is signed, but it's just an art pottery piece. It says Mason. Really, really cool kind of oriental style. I did put that in my title. So I paid five for this one at the thrift store. It sold for 40. So it's going to be about a $27 profit, but it sold in days. So we've had some fast selling stuff lately. Up next, I love, I love picking up the cross stitch kits, the little craft kits. This one is an owl, like the pulled rug. It is a little towel holder. It's got all the yarn. 
This one I picked up for only $3 at the thrift store. It sold for $15.59, so it's about a $10 profit, but it only took a few months to sell. Up next is another Harley Davidson pen. This little one big party Harley Davidson anniversary pen sold for $14.90. Again, I only paid a dollar, but it has been about a year. This one's going to be about an $11 profit. All right, so again, we had almost $250 sales, $50 in sales on the other platform. We do use List Perfectly to cross post. If you haven't tried it yet, give it a try. You can use my code, the Nurse Flipper, get 30% off. I personally have been using them almost three years now, so I have a long standing relationship using their product. I'm using their auto sales detection, which I love. It makes it easier to take items off other platforms. And what I'm going to do, and we also um, are checking out my reseller Genie. I'm going to give away a month of both of those. So this is the last time I'll get to give away, at least in the near future, of my reseller Genie. But, but Liz Perfectly gives us a free month every month. So let's go ahead for April. Let's give away a month of both. Guys. A month of List Perfectly any level you can do any level get it for free if you're already using it you will get a refund for the month how amazing would that be so if you want to join both you can so for list perfectly put list perfectly and for my reseller genie which if you don't know that is an accounting program for resellers it actually can help you manage your inventory get all of your tax preparation done for your accountant if you use one and really really good their highest plan is only $20 $19.99 for my reseller genie so to enter for my reseller genie put m r g in the comments and if you would like to enter for list perfectly put list perfectly you can enter for both so you can put list perfectly mrg and you could be in her for both so go ahead and enter to win both of those and i'm going to show you now what we sold on the other platforms so over on mercari we only had two sales we sold this starbucks replacement lid nothing else guys purple starbucks lid sold for 12 dollars over on mercari we did not pay much these were in a box with some starbucks cups so this is going to be about a 10 dollar profit and then yarn 50 dollars it was actually, I think there are eight rolls of this. This is Bernat Baby Blanket Yarn. I picked this up at a thrift store. Only paid about $5. Sold for $50, so about a $40 profit. You can see it's like Chanel, really, really soft yarn. Watch for Bernat Baby Blanket. That has been a really good seller for us. All right, Poshmark, Housewares, Cleavers. They look dangerous, right? These are two vintage meat cleavers. They are quick cut stainless. I just put them together. I am less than a dollar in, got these in a big buyout. These two sold for 26 over on Poshmark, so they're gonna be about an $18 profit. Up next, we sold a table runner. Again, houseware section. This has little applied, they look kinda like pink dogwoods. This is a table runner this one sold for 17 i'm less than a dollar in so it's going to be about a 12 dollar profit up next is a simply southern shirt i got from the simply southern outlet for 5.99 so this is still brand new and this is a really cool spooky mama this is a size xxl i actually i kept one of these for me i have two more if you like these it says spooky mama you've got the simply southern with the jack-o-lantern on the front this one sold on posh for 17 so it's going to be about an eight to nine dollar profit so these are listed on all of my platforms but they're they're really cool so if you need a halloween shirt up next is a horse blanket. I think I've had this for a while. I'll put a picture up. It's two horses. You can see the horse's face there. This one I paid five. It sold on Poshmark for 31. So it's gonna be about a $20 profit. All right, one thing sold on Etsy, a big, raw, rusty vintage toolbox. See the cool angel wings? This is very rusty and we did show that. This one is the Simonson. 
So I got this in a buyout, the same one with that watch. The, the watch might have been in this box. So I am only a couple dollars in. This one sold for $85 on Etsy. So about a $70 profit after fees. So watch for old toolboxes. This one has the name here. If you can identify it, a lot of them can bring pretty good money. All right, that was everything. I hope you enjoyed. We are glad our sales are back up. We're actually only 0.8% below last month, so less than 1%. So they are coming back up. There is hope. The world is not ending. The sky is not falling. There is ebb and flow in sales. It is natural. It will happen. You just keep doing what you know you should do, which is source good, list consistently and the sales will come regardless of the economy people are going to buy stuff that's just what they're going to do so i hope you've enjoyed this don't forget come and join us over on whatnot tonight at 8 30 i will throw a preview in for you here of what we're going to have all tonight. right so first i want to show you these there are nine bags this is all wearable costume jewelry and these bags are three, four, five pounds, all wearable, all wearable. These are not craft bags and each bag is only going to start for $2 each, $2 each. If you're a reseller, whatnot seller, whatever, these bags are going to be great. And now let's look at the individual items. Here are the individual pieces. There are some great brooches in here. There are earrings. Look at that beautiful sterling pendant. All of these will be a $2 start as well. Some great brooches. Look at this rhinestone set. This has bracelet, earrings, and brooch. Siam spoons. Look at that with the seagull. Beautiful, beautiful brooches. All $2 starts on these. Look at that amazing ladybug. Such cute things. If you like rhinestones, we got a lot. Look at this amazing alpaca and enamel bracelet or barrette, barrette, and some earrings as well as some more bling. Art glass, Mickey Mouse pendant, lots and lots of rhinestones. All $2 starts, so come and join us tonight at 8.30 on Whatnot. If you haven't signed up, you can use my coupon again and get $15 for free. All right, so all of that again, $2 starts tonight on Whatnot. Come see us, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I appreciate you watching. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I will see you on the next one. Look, Dalton, there. Big That's a big egg? Yep, that's a big. Ah! Sister, you found it! That's what? What is that? Let's see what's in the dolphin egg. Huh? What? You got monies? <laughs> what? Those look like special candies. How many dollars is that? What number is on it? Is that crazy? Is that for me? No, I found it. Oh, God. I got you. Woohoo! Trying not to speak, pretend that I'm breathing.